Caddis Maximus here. This time with a little review of the Stanley number 125, an older main USA contractors or carpenters universal square. Carpenter's squares, adjustable carpenter's squares, I should say, are usually just a simple square with a little scribe and adjustable bar so that you can do lines across long edges. I run a, if you're going to rip a long board, make it narrower, you would adjust this to the right point and then you could scribe along. This one does have holes every half inch in the bar. And standard carpenter squares do have a single bubble level. Now, carpenter adjustable carpenter squares just aren't used very often anymore because they've been largely replaced by what is known as the speed square. But these Stanleys actually were not that uncommon. What is uncommon is to find these with the bubbles. As we can see, really bright neon green bubbles, very easy to see. But these plastic bubbles often, I've actually seen these probably three, four, five, several times through over the years. Inevitably, these bubbles are always broken. So finding one where the bubbles are intact uh, is the actual challenge. But besides just being a normal carpenter's square, we do have a protractor point, which of course is the same thing as a pivot point on a speed square, so that you can use it to lay out angles. But some of the other cool things about this is that we have a series of holes for either checking build, drill bits or actually drawing holes, common fractional sizes up through one inch. And then we do have a wood screw kind of gauge, taper gauge here, as well as a common nail gauge here. This would be for gauging the thickness of the nails. But if we actually flip it over to the back side, we can have a second gauge for nails, which is you just set the nail on the top, the head of the nail on the top here, and depending on what size of nail it is, it will allow you to quickly reference it. Either allowing you to identify nails that you already have or to say uh, identify nails that you do need to, uh, or whatever might be the right length. So just thought this was a kind of a neat tool that I thought was an interesting idea and could be useful in some situations, but I also understand why these really aren't around anymore. I should, should mention that, of course, we do have a little scribe up here. Mainly, once again, because they've been replaced by the speed square and the durability. I mean, this type of square is neat, but these plastic bubbles are easily broken. And this whole kind of thin cast aluminum frame here, especially this portion, is easily bent and broken. And, of course, a speed square, especially like a billet aluminum one like this, or obviously very heavy duty and perform most just about all the functions of something like this but just wanted to share this with people because if you ever see one of these because it is a rather unique looking tool and usually i get my uh, videos up at the same time every day but i'm a little bit late today um mainly because uh i saw this on craigslist for the unbelievable price of 30 bucks i couldn't believe it to tell you the truth especially for the price but when i uh Went by the person's house, they were actually pretty cool. It turns out that they had the biggest collection of Blu-rays I've ever seen, like 4,000 of them or something. And they were just passing this off on a basically a holiday deal. I've never seen this, so I've never seen a single episode of Game of Thrones. I've been kind of holding out, and now I have it on 4K. I'll finally get my fulfill of Peter Dinklage. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.